Again, well, gorgeous. You are the Han. Oh, this is gonna be a mess. Drink. A bit of an evening chat. Why not? No, I should have bought a bottle. Hey. Um. <clears throat> I wanted to come on here. I wasn't going to come on here this evening. But I, I was going through some comments 
from my previous vlog, not the one I dropped today. And it's from Le Tubs. Le Tubs 1. And this is something that I want to do for the August month. And I'll do it in the videos that I film going forward in this month. So you might see some of the videos in September. But I just want to mention and celebrate women this month. And because most of the people that watch my channel are women. I'm just going to mention some of your comments. Um, to show you that one, I do read them. But also to show you that I'm so incredibly appreciative of your comments. So this was from Litabos one. Thanks Litabos girl. You know I'm going to mention you in my unpopular opinion. No way, not Litab. <laughs> she said, thing when you return. This is a video, she's basically saying we'll be here when you return. This is a video that, um, Life in My 30s vlog that I posted before I disappeared for two weeks. Aussie, we love you and it's unfortunate that the authentic YouTubers uh, aren't that recognized, but don't be discouraged because we are here. Rding. Rding means we are here. And when I read that, it made me quite emotional with the sense that maybe this is something that I don't say enough, right? I am aware. I read the comments. I know the names. That's why you'll catch me saying, Sentia, Dipuo, Linda, Palesa. You know, like I'll mention all these names when I'm doing my funny, unpopular opinions, candid with cat, whatever. I'll mention these names because it's my ode to you as my subscribers to say that I do see the comments. I'm not just responding to the comments, but I do see the names and I'm very well aware of the names. Bo pink happiness. I know you girl. You know, Charity, I know her, but Charity is my friend and I speak to her regularly. So, you know, there's just names that are there and I want you guys to put down a message. When you see this video, put down a message, right, for women, in support of women. In South Africa, it's Women's Month. It is currently the 4th of August. Women's Day is on the 9th of August, which is the coming Friday. It's a holiday. But I want you to put any comment down where you are supporting other women. And I'm going to share them in my coming videos, vlogs that might fizzle into September because I pre-record, as you know. But I want us to celebrate women and... That's not the reason why I switched the camera on. I switched the camera on to not only thank Litabo, but also to to let you guys know that I'm very well aware that there are a lot of you guys that support this channel. I'm very well aware of that. And I do not take it for granted. I do not take my members for granted because I'm thankful for this space. I'm just documenting my life in my 30s. Life in the 30s and in the 40s and in the 50s and going forward is not going to be a life that's full of parties and travels every five minutes and kikiing and this and this and being out and about and this and this. It's not. Once you reach a certain stage of your life, things start to stabilize and they calm down a little bit. And that's the part of my life that I'm in. Watch na lady. Okay, <laughs> if you don't watch Naledi, which I'd be very confused how you are here and you don't watch Naledi. Naledi M. Official is my sister. And 
she has more of a more vibrant lifestyle where she's out and she's doing this and buying that and this. And I love it for her. I love it. I love it for her. But I don't do that. My life revolves truly and purposefully around my job and building. And you, you know, when you just start hearing things, <laughs> I'm recovering from the flu. Recovering means I'm out of the woods, okay? We're at 90%. Um, being in your 30s essentially revolves around your job and your home life, um, your friends, who you don't get to see that much because we all have stuff going on, right? We all have something going on. We've got kids, we've got marriages. You're not going to see me out and about with my friends every weekend because we have very different aspects to our lives right now. I cannot take a friend of mine who's got two children and a husband and say to her, let's go out, let's pop off, let's lose ourselves. We just, we just don't do that anymore. But I'm also trying to describe, showcase the life of a 30-something year old who is not married and who doesn't have children and is quite comfortable with that, quite happy with that. Let's not get it twisted. Quite happy with that, but showing my life on a day-to-day -day basis, you know. Um, yes, I've been getting a number of questions about diesel. I don't speak about diesel. I think I mentioned it a little bit in the last uh, membership vlog boudoir sessions I mentioned it quite a lot I spoke about it relatively I never spoke about it on here and I realized that in some videos prior to this that I'm filming right now I was asked oh where's diesel you were always diesel this diesel that I felt that particular comment was you're always diesel this doesn't look <laughs> spare me but this is my channel and I will share what I want to share and what I don't want to share I won't and in the membership space I did say that I don't want to talk about it at that time when I shared that video of the boudoir sessions and I went into a little bit more detail I said when I'm ready I'll talk about it I think in life uh, in this particular instance, I I went into that particular relationship and I was ready for something. I expected something. Uh, things were done. Things were spoken about. Things were done. Some were not, but some were done. And I will say, I will say, without speaking about my personal life because I've never done that and I'm not going to do it now. What I did share with you about Diesel where you heard his voice and you went, oh my god, he's so wonderful. What I did share is what I wanted to share. However, what I will share now is that I had the rug pulled from an, under my feet. So when you have something happened to you that you were not ever expecting would happen. How you respond to it or how you share what you choose to share online is very different. Do you know what I mean? If I wanted to say that, oh, this happened and this happened and I, I did this or I walked away or whatever, all I can share is that the rug was pulled from under my feet. So, in essence, I was even flabbergasted and shook. That's not a word. But shook at what happened. And it was things that I was not expecting. And they happened. 
and I had to switch from feeling a certain way unknowingly to then being put in a certain place and having to deal with that. And that's what happened there. So that's all I'm going to share. That's all I'm going to talk about. Um, I'm just learning and finding myself in the process. And I can hope that you guys can understand that. That's all. But the point that I'm trying to make here is I do see your comments. I do see all the wonderful things that you say and share about this channel and about me. And I cannot tell you how thankful I am. As much as I may complain and say, I don't know what's going on with YouTube right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. But I do also know the support and I feel it. And that's why I think I can never be gone for too long. Do you hear my chat? I can never be gone for too long. That is why. That is why I share what I share. But I cannot share anything that isn't me. So you're not going to get the, you know, the trips overseas and the this and the this. Actually, speaking of trips overseas, I was supposed to go away at the end of this month. And uh, the ultimate fave is planning something for her birthday, which is coming up. And uh, she wants me to be a part of it. So I was at this point where I'm like, okay, do I do this little short left? Or do I go bonkers for the ultimate fave's birthday? And that's where I'm at. I'm at the fact that let's go bonkers. Let's make it lavish. Let's make it luxury. And I sacrificed a trip that would have been for me for a trip that's going to be for me and Nulls. And it's okay. You know, there might be, I might be able to squeeze something in, but I'm still working on that. So I want to thank you guys. Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you guys to say that I'm not, not aware of the support that you show this channel. And I want to show my support of you. So comment whatever. Support another woman. Share something about a woman that you would like me to shout out on my channel because I will be reading the comments. And in every video, no matter what it is, and popular opinions, controversial, candid with cat, da 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 da, from now, from this moment that I film, Going forward, I will mention some comments from you about women supporting women and supporting you and being thankful to you for supporting me. Okay. And let's enjoy and celebrate Women's Month. Let me enjoy and celebrate and thank you. All right. I'll see you in the next clip. I don't know what it's going to be. But I'll see you in the next clip.